Hey YouTube, it's Little Rocker Cutie 2005, or I should say Little Rocker 2005, also known as Andre. Back again with Buffy Zena Man, known as Chris. We're yep. teaming back up to give you a huge DVD, Blu ray, and possibly video game update, depending on how much time we have. But we're just going to get right into it. We'll let this man here start it off. Okay, okay. Ah, ta da. This is my Electro Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man 2 head. It has the Blu ray DVD in it and a bonus extra. Where'd you find that anyway? Okay, I mean, Dollar General. Really? 15 bucks. Oh, that ain't look. bad. How do you look? Oh, no, that is cool. It lights up. Yeah, I've seen a, I've seen a few people pick that up, but... I... It's a bigger box. Right. So, it's a, right here, by the way. It's where they keep it. Oh, wow. So, the Electro had me spamming, too. I love that movie. I haven't seen it yet. It's good. I haven't even seen the first one. I saw it in theaters. Well, first up for me, this, this came from Shauna Tonin, but it's the Evil Dead remake from 2013, produced by Sam Raimi, Rob Tapper, and Bruce Campbell. Very good remake, I must say. Definitely in my, I'd say, my top ten favorite remakes. I really enjoy it. The Loft. I heard about that one. Carl Urban, Chase Masterson, with Warwick Miller are some of the stars in it. I got it at Black Friday. I haven't watched it yet. I heard it's like a decent movie, but I'll find out when I watch it. Uh, besides, I like those actors. So, Whoopi Goldberg in Eddie. It's one of my favorite Whoopi Goldberg movies where she's a fan of the New York Knicks and ends up becoming coach for like half a game and then ends up as the head coach. It's a it's a pretty funny movie and it's got a lot of real NBA talent at the time in it so if you find this one definitely give it a watch. Gone Girl. <sighs> okay, I mean Josh saw in theaters and I gotta say I don't bop some out of value but it's uh, it's a Ben Affleck has a great performance in this but I find the storyline a little ridiculous and stupid that they're like, oh, these all these loopholes, and but you're a victim, so we'll believe you. It's like, what? Are you serious? Good actor, bad movie. But it's true. There is a side shot of his penis. I saw it. It's like, oh wow. As if I care. <laughs> 28 Days Later, another pickup from uh, my buddy Shauna Tonin. Uh, I don't know really what to say about this one, except it's a really good zombie movie. Run, Lola, Run. Heard about that one? I've never seen it. It's like one of the top 1001 movies to watch before you die. Ah, okay. And it has one of my favorite, one of the actors, one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies in it, The Experiment. Oh. He's like, he's like the guy leading this, I can't remember his name at the moment. But it's basically it has three alternate endings in the movie. Three ways they could end it. Right. A great techno track, but it's, it's a good movie. Yeah, I know kind of what they did with it. This was just a custom one I made, but it's uh, the Nostalgia Critic, Nostalgia Commercials. I just made it off the internet. And I'll slap you for that one. I know you hate the Nostalgia Critic, you don't have to rub it in. I, I, you look at it in softly. Palomito! If I'm saying that right. Let me see. Palomato. Palmetto. Palmetto. This is an old Woody Harrison movie from a long, long time ago. I'd never heard of it. It's, it's a decent one. So. I'll have to look into it. It's pretty good. Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone in Grudge Match. I actually got this mainly for the Stallone collection, but I've heard mixed things about it. Haven't watched it yet, but it's one I'm looking forward to checking out. Suffless. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. I got it for a penny video because it was cheap, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to get around to it one these days, and... <laughs> That's me too. It's supposed to be really good. Uh, Manhunter, the director's cut. This was actually sent to me by a nice guy here on YouTube, John Lindsay 289 
giving him a little shout out there. I have actually never seen this, but I know it happens before Silence of the Lambs, so looking forward to watching that. The Rules of Engagement. I think I've seen that one a couple times. It stars like Future Vampire Diaries actor Ian. Oh, Ian Summerhaller? Ian Summerhaller. It's like, it's supposed to be like a prequel or some kind of, something related to the American Psycho. Hmm. Officially his I think his, it's by the same author. Yeah, and his brother, supposed to be about the serial killer's brother. But they cut that stuff out for the hmm. movie. Stephen King's It, this one terrorized me as a kid, blame my mother for that one. She was watching it one time when I was six and I saw Pennywise, it scared the shit out of me. I don't know why I, I could, I, it scared me then, but I can watch it now, so. Mama's Family, best of season one. Oh, wow. It's like we're Carol Burnett, not Carol Burnett. Oh. Yeah, Vicki Lawrence. Vicki Lawrence I know that show. picked her favorite episodes. Hmm. And as I watched it, it's pretty good. Terminator Genesis, um, Revy Lagoon and I just watched this the other night and we both really like it. It's a decent take on, you know, what would you call it? What would you call it a prequel or? I haven't watched it yet. Oh, it's uh, good. Take it from me. Okay. Elementary season one. Oh, I heard about that show. I watched that. I watched that, but it's pretty good. Lucy Liu is pretty good in this too. I like her. He pretty much plays her, uh, he plays, she plays Holmes' as, uh... She's like the Dr. Watson. Right, Watson, but she's the sponsor. Right. The sponsor, because he just, at the beginning of the season, he's pretty much getting off heroin. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, basically a collection replacement, but the two of us saw this in the theater back in the day. Both loved it. Uh-huh. I got the director's cut. Yeah, I know. I've been looking for that one. I got, I got... Uh, Amazon for 75 cents. Oh, wow. Let's see here. Ugh. The Hobbit uh, Motion Picture oh, Extended Edition. Not much, pretty much to say, but it's... Not much to say. I've never seen them. Don't care to. Uh, it's pretty much like uh, like an hour to each movie, I think. A couple and extras, and of course we have Mr. Magnew himself, a.k.a. Sir Ian. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. I can't see names today. He does a good job. And I, got, I picked it up. I figured, why not? The double feature of Hard Target and Sudden Death, both underrated Van Damme movies. I actually picked this up on, I believe, the way back from Pennsylvania at a little truck stop right at the Ohio border. But both underrated movies, and Lance Henriksen's a villain in Hard Target, which just makes it even more awesome. Judge Dredd and Warzone Punisher. I saw up for the Punisher Warzone. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I haven't watched Dredd yet. Yeah, Barry said that one's good too. Yeah, it's uh, Carl Punisher. I've seen Dredd. It's really good. Yeah, it's Carl Urban in it, so I will watch it. I've, it's really good. I've seen it. One of my all-time favorite movies, A Fish Called Wanda, a great heist comedy with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein, uh, John Cleese, and Michael Palin. Just a great cast in there, and a great, great comedy. Both Thor movies. Thor and Thor the Dark World. Nothing I can really say. I haven't seen them. Well, they're pretty good movies. I've only seen each one of them twice. Not like I've seen how many times I've seen Iron Man or Captain America. Right. I think I've got all the Marvel movies so far. These are the ones I watched the least. Yeah, I think most people watch them the least. Uh, Blow with Johnny Depp. It's based on a true story where he plays a Colombian cocaine lord. Actually, a very good movie. The Fantastic Four movies. What's the bo it was a bonus disc. Hmm. I found them at the eBay store. Oh, wow. I haven't been in there in a minute. Yeah, and I saw these, like, hey, why not? I got the director cuts, might as well get them. And, and the first one came with a bonus disc behind the scenes. I remember that coming out. And so, it, it kind of makes me think back when they first came out. We wanted to see them in the theater, so we, they, we couldn't. Right. I don't even think they came here, did they? Nope. They couldn't get there. Right. Let's see, a Mass Effect Paragon Lost. I actually picked this up for Revy Lagoon. I have that one, too. Yeah, how is it? We haven't watched it yet. And you're a guy. 
What are you doing? Really? Really? Hand her to me. Come here. Come here. Come here, Come here baby. This is my cat, Sirius Black. Oh, I love being Sirius Black. She just wanted to be in the video, didn't you, girl? She had a bubble bummer. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come here. Come here. Go that way. Go. go that way. She might want out. Yeah, but you're blocking the door right now. I know. Okay. I'm going to move the cat. <laughs> really? Yep. Really? The faux bomber. I'll just do mine. Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Oh, is that one any good? Oh, yeah. Basically, about a good Justice League and a bad Justice League. Yeah, I know the storyline. I just was wondering if yeah. that was any good. I, well, instead of, I'll take Superwoman mm -hmm. being Wonder Woman's alter ego, it's Mary Marvel's. Oh, wow. And the Marvel family's in it, they're evil. Hmm. So. First season of Private Practice, the Grey's Anatomy spinoff. I actually found this at the at the pawn shop for five bucks, unopened. So that was cool. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Have you found a bomb that's the left cat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Move it. Go. Go. No. She's fine. Oh, come on. Come on, serious. There we go. <sighs> You're next. No. Stay. This is Justice League The Flash Point Paradox. Oh, I have that one. I just haven't watched it yet. It's pretty good. It's like, it switched around. Like, so Batman be Bruce Wayne is his father. Yeah, I know, I know about it. And, from, uh, and his Joker is his mother. Right, I've I've heard about it, I just haven't seen it. Like I said, I do own it. Another re collection of placement in Cheech and Chong's next movie. Definitely underrated and probably my favorite out of the sequels. Oh. So I top down with <sighs> Daniel Craig. I got it on a whim to watch it, but I haven't watched it yet. Work seems to be a pain in my ass more likely. <laughs> I but, know the feeling. But I'm gonna get around to it. His schedule, we haven't gotten the team up like this in a while. Uh, this is a pickup from Shauna Tonin and an upgrade, but Kurt Russell in Miracle about the 1980 U.S. hockey team. Viking. A BBC series. Uh, yeah, yeah. It takes about, about, pretty much about Vikings. I haven't really watched it yet. I don't pay too much attention to them uh, BBC series and whatnot, That's other so, than Doctor Who. They're so good. Yeah. Daylight was Sylvester Stallone, underrated movie for the Stallone collection, and my mom actually gave this to me. A pretty good cast in it, definitely a fun, fun action movie. Sherlock. Is that a British one? Yep. Season one. Basically, Benedict Cumberland. Oh, Cumberbatch. Yeah. I have not watched it yet. Right. And... Uh, I watched the first episode, it's pretty good. It's, it's kind of long up, so you get right. into it. It gets you into it. Yeah. Mortal Kombat Legacy 2. Uh, I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know how it is. That's good. And it was, you, you got me the first one. Grandpa's the Christmas Devil. Basically, it's a low-budget movie. Hmm. I, I watched because I saw the uh, Grandpa's in theaters. Yeah, we wanted to see that one, too. And I thought, I'll, I'll watch the movie, and... Very low budget. Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. I picked this up because I like anything to do with Street Fighter. Heard a lot of good things about this one. Dahmer. Or Jeremy Reiner. Oh, wow, really? Yep. Huh. I think one of his first movies before he got big. I saw it a long, long time ago, and it was, he, he did a pretty good damn good job. He had it a while, long while back, too. Yeah. Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Part 1 and 2. Watch this, and I absolutely love it. The Psycho Movies. Nice. I like 
This one is like a pop-up bitch cover one. And that art is wicked. And these are the last... The sequels. Yeah, the two, three, and four in the beginning. And I like the second movies. I, haven't, I saw number one, number two, never saw three or four. Three is good and four is really good. Think of uh, Bates Motel, but done in like an hour and a half and just leading right into the movie. The first movie, basically. It's basically Norman telling the story of his of his childhood and um, I think he's married with a kid on the way and, and something like that, but it's really good. The number 23. Picked this up for the Jim Carrey collection. Haven't seen it yet, but heard some interesting things about it. Friday the 13th, the final Friday. You had that before, but you gave it to me. Yeah. But I got, I found it again. And unrated. Unrated. I used to watch the unrated anyhow. Yeah, I watched the unrated too. Uh, Stand-up comedy here. Uh, Russell Peters, outsourced. I've heard this guy is pretty funny, but I've never seen him in action. That's Damon Jason. That's the one you were talking about. I have the other one. Yeah. The one that's like seven hours. Yeah, I don't have that one. That's the one I was going to give you the DVDs of. Ah. But yeah, this is... Yeah, we. I saw this with Andre first guy, and it was a good documentary, but we were disappointed on how much detail he went to and how they got celebrities into this. That's why I was going to give you Crystal Lake Memories. Seven friggin' hours, 40 minutes of detail on each movie, and mainly people from the movies and involved with them. Good. But next up for me is uh, Clint Eastwood movie Jersey Boys about Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Haven't seen it yet, but heard good things. Catch Hell. Never heard of it. It's about it's Brian Brian Philippine. He plays an actor who gets kidnapped by these two because Brian Philippine slept with the, uh, one of the guy's wife. Hmm. Huh. He kidnapped him to torture him and kill him. Oh wow. And. His, his nephew helps him out and his nephew wants to sleep with him. Uh, Catwoman, again, another one from Sean and Tonin. I have seen this. I do like it despite how bad it is. One of them so bad it's good movies. Oh, yeah. The Nines. With Ryan Reynolds. Okay. I've not watched it yet. I heard good things I about it. I never heard of it. I heard good things about it. The remake of The Hills Have Eyes. This is another one of my favorite remakes. Uh, again, this would probably be in my top ten. I like this actually more than the original. Puncture. Oh, okay, with Chris Evans. I've never watched, seen it. I watched it. It's good. It's based on a true story. Well, yeah, I knew about that. And it's about safety needles. Huh. The complete first season of an 80s uh, gangster TV show from the 80s called Wise Guy. Uh, this was, again, another one from Sean and Tonin, and has an early role from Kevin Spacey. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. The Judge. That's one I want to see. Robert Downey Jr. They think he really is in a watch. Let me borrow that. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I figures. Uh, Bruce Almighty. This was a really good Jim Carrey movie. Another good pickup for the collection. Actually, a replacement. Reclaim. Again, never heard of it. It's basically this couple star gets kidnapped and they go after her and they get kidnapped themselves. Well, that's weird. It's an it's a interesting movie. Exorcist 3. I've heard this was actually the best out of all the sequels, so I'm looking forward to giving this a watch. Obsession. Daniel Craig. Again, never heard of it. It's an older movie of his. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The extended cut of The Punisher with Thomas Jane and John Travolta. Really like this cut. Stag. It has Jim Henson in it. Okay. It's about bachelor party goes wrong and it, um, people die and the strippers left a lot. One of the strippers left a lot and kidnap her and things got out of control. Hmm. Huh. So it's, it's a pretty good movie. And I'm trying to think. Jerry Stiller is in it. John Henson. Oh, that's probably, probably nice out there. Uh, double feature of Collateral Damage and Eraser. Two new Arnold movies for the collection. A Christmas Story 2. Ugh! I haven't watched it yet. It sucks! 
Cobra with Stallone, one of his most underrated movies in my book. Great, great action movie, great soundtrack, great chase scenes, just everything about this movie is great, and it's action mixed with actually some slasher elements, which makes it really cool. Eureka, season one, season two. I've heard of it, but never watched it. It's a pretty witty good show. Basically about a very smart town. Hmm. And the cop there accidentally gets there and comes to up and he's like, not the smart one there. Oh, wow. Not the smart one there. Double feature of House on Haunted Hill and Return to House on Haunted Hill. I actually like the first, uh, the first House on Haunted Hill, the 99 remake. I really like that one. Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2. I sell mine to get money. Oh, I didn't know that. Years ago, years ago, I had all three of them. I had to sell them. So. Speaking of Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2.1, which adds like 13 minutes or so of footage back in. Castle Season 1, Season 2. Basically about an author and a... Uh, Again, it's one I've heard of, but detective. never watched. Uh, work together, but I don't like I don't like the fact they got together. It's like so it's like one of those generic things. Like oh god, not again. And then always. Yeah. Desperado with Antonio Banderas, one of my favorite action movies from the nineties. The following one and two. Wasn't that with uh, Kevin Bacon? Uh huh. I heard about it, but again, you know, never seen it. I, it's pretty good, although it's season. It's only three seasons. Uh, I'm not sure on purpose, but just by a hat, it just got canceled. Right. Uh, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, another pickup from Shauna Tonin that I really liked. Secondhand Lions. Oh, I heard about that one. I saw it when my sister called. Is it any good? It's a really good movie. This one was kind of a odd one for Sean Shauna Tonin to send me, but Scorpio, it's a spy movie with Burt Lancaster. It looked interesting. The booklet had some pretty interesting info on it. It was actually filmed in the Watergate Hotel during the Watergate scandal, so this will be an interesting watch. Love is the Devil. It stars Daniel Craig. It's basically uh, based on the story of... I can't remember his name. Francis Bacon. Yeah, I've never heard of it. He's pretty much a guy who accepts with uh, violence and culture and stuff like that. Hmm. And... The other character plays a character breaks into his house and he catches him and says, You come to bed with me, I'll give you anything you want. Oh, wow. <laughs> Selena with Jennifer Lopez. This is probably one of my favorite music movies ever. The Ghost Hunting with the Youpers. And exactly what is it? Basically, the ghost hunting in the UP at what fish point, and oh, apparently okay. Ghost Hunters was there. Hmm. I haven't watched it yet, but I was like, okay. Exorcist Extended Director's Cut. I don't need to go into this one, just other than saying it's a classic, classic movie. The Cosby Show. Oh boy. All eight seasons. I have no comment. Why? Well, just basing on what he's done, but what I he has done, what he's done, and what and his legacy are two different things. Yeah. I agree with you there. Just leave, leave what he's done out. I do. The Cosby Show. It was a great show. It's yes. a great. It's a great show. It's funny. I said I still listen to his albums. So. Yep. That sentence with Kevin Bacon, a great, great revenge movie. Actually, I believe a take on Death Wish but more along the lines of the book. And this is a really, really great thriller from the director of Saw. I love Lucy, the complete series. Got, got Walmart. That's like, oh, let's see here. First five seasons, I love Lucy, and the last three of the Ricky, Lucy and Desi County Hour. Falls count anywhere. It's a set of street fights and hardcore matches. I'm a WWE fan, so it was cheap. Bring the Teenage Witch, the quick series. I never really liked that show. I, I I couldn't get into it. I watched it in high school and just pretty much stuck with me. A double feature of the original My Bloody Valentine and April Fool's Day. I actually found this for I don't know. I picked it up for both movies because I did a collection placement again, but 
you know, My Bloody Valentine I had the unrated version of. Vampire Diaries Season Seer 6 and 7. I picked these up because I like Vampire Diaries, but since... I do too. But it's been going downhill a lot, and I watched the new season, I'm like, some of these uh, twists, I'm like, really? Really? That's the best they can come up with? Uh, Dragon Age, Dawn of the Seeker, it's an animated movie based on the games, but uh, my boyfriend, Revy Lagoon, likes the games, so I picked this up for him. Yeah. Race Under Fire, the complete series. Seen, uh, I've heard of it from back in the day, but I never watched it. It was from Chuck, Chuck Lorre created it. Right. So and goes, he worked on Roseanne, right? Uh, I don't know. He did Two and a Half Men, Big Bang Theory, and Mike and Molly. Oh, okay. And he, I do like Big Bang yeah, Theory. This was done way back in the like, early 90s. Right, I know. So, I, I watched the entire series. It's a good series. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy worked on Roseanne. I wouldn't doubt it. The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. This was actually a birthday present from yours truly over here. <sighs> Very nice one. The TV Herman show from the 80s. And yep. keep the Pee Herman show on Broadway. On Broadway? Yeah. Oh, wow. Pretty much they got back the, like, a couple of cast members together from the original and the TV show together. Mm hmm. And did a Broadway show. Oh, wow. Yep. You even had a secret world. Huh. And the Pee Wee Herman show was just done before the anything else, really. Right. The Guardian, an underrated 90s, early 90s horror movie from the director of The Exorcist, William Friedkin. This DVD is actually long out of print, especially now, now more so since uh, Scream Factory recently put the Blu-ray out. The Pee Wee Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Love that movie. I did too growing up. I like the party where... Uh, they're filming a nunnery scene, and the, the asshole kid. That kid, yeah. And he goes, he's dressed like a nun. He goes like, hope the spiral. And Pee Wee's like, you're right. I will start right now by doing a paper round. <laughs> Walks away to fight. <laughs> yep. And everyone's just staring at him. And Burger's like, oh, is that in the script? The breakfast machine. Right. Uh, Gridiron Gang with The Rock. Uh, this was based on a true story and it's a collection of placement. Really enjoy this movie. The Pee Wee Herman show. Pee Wee's Playhouse. All the seasons. Oh, wow. One through five. That's freaking cool. Yep. They even have like, interviews with the like, original cast members, directors. Oh, wow. And they talk about how much fun they had on the show and they talk about the process of making it. Right. And... They like to talk to like Laura Fishburne. Oh wow! And the original Reba male lady, which was on, she was on SVU. I asked you about the one show before that. Criminal Intent. Before that, the original one. Oh, Law and Order. Yeah, she was on Law for eighteen years, but she says people still go like Reba. Oh wow! That's all my stuff. Yeah, I still got quite a bit, but uh, there's some I might just take out. Uh, Bachelor Party, this was one from Shauna Tonin, early Tom Hanks movie, really funny. Keep going, I need to stretch. Okay. Oh, God. I said I'm going to go through these kind of quick. Uh, the Incredible Burt Wonderstone with Jim Carrey and Steve Carell, where they're competing magicians. 25th anniversary special of Saturday Night Live, that's a really great special. Caddyshack, one of my favorite, favorite comedies. What is it? We're going to go kind of quick here. X-Men Days of Future Past. Heard a lot of good things about this. End of Days with Arnold. Underrated movie. Great pickup for the Arnold collection. The A-Team with Liam Neeson. This movie was awesome. I hated it so badly. That's you. I know. The My Bloody Valentine remake. Decent one. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Byrne. I actually picked this up because it has Robert Anglin playing a Dr. Loomis type character. It's a very, very fun little slasher movie. The Goonies. That's one of my childhood favorites. Double feature of the first Mr. Bean movie and Johnny English. 
Stuart Little, who's a co uh, collection replacement. Not a good movie. Dr. Giggles. Very, very fun slasher movie. With Combs. a young Holly Marie Combs from and, Charm. Thank you, Chris. And, and Mark from Roseanne. Thank uh -huh. you. Uh, some of the I Love Lucy seasons. These uh, Chris actually gave me those. Same thing with these Ninja Turtle sets. Uh, volume one of the Iron Man anime and top seven fan fights of Goku. Street Fighter with Van Damme. Underrated. I don't get the hate on it. Memories, a pretty interesting anime film from Sean and Tonin. I haven't checked it out yet, but three great directors doing three different little movies. Again, from Sean and Tonin, Aeon Flux. Decent movie. Zoolander with Ben Stiller. Really great comedy. Haven't seen the sequel yet, but I've heard a lot of bad about it. Me, Myself, and Irene. Great Jim Carrey movie from the Fairley Brothers. The second Inuyasha movie. Haven't watched it, but heard a lot of good things. Especially from me. Yep. <sighs> Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage. Another great remake. Oh, did you forget a couple? Yeah, go on. Fisher Kyle. All right. Slap Shot with Paul Newman. One of my favorite sports movies. The Professional, GoGo -Go 13. This was another birthday present from John Lindsay 289. Again, shout out to him. Appleseed Alpha, prequel to the first two movies. Puppet Master Collection. This has the first nine movies on, I think, like two discs. Yeah, Go ahead. One more. And uh, Underworld, Rise of the Lycans. This is the third movie in the series, but it's a prequel. Okay, I forgot to. Family Guy. The freaking sweet collection. That's a good one. I found it at uh, Salvation, uh, yeah, Salvation Army for a dollar. Oh, wow. And I don't have any family guys right now, so I'm going to get those soon. Well, you gave the ones you had to me. Yeah. Because I was moving. Right. And the new adventures of Old Christine Season 1. Hmm. I heard some good things about that show. Yeah, the guy who plays Agent Bill. Agent who? You know, the guy. Bill. Colson. Oh, okay. He was in this. He was in this. He was her ex-husband. Oh, okay. Now, the first uh, Rob Zombie Halloween movie. Decent remake as a time waster. Uh -huh. Walk Among the Tombstones with Liam Neeson. I haven't watched this yet, but heard good things. Again with Liam Neeson, non-stop. I have seen this. This was really good. The TV Bonnie and Clyde miniseries. Heard okay things about it. Walking Tall with The Rock. Really good movie. Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation in a double feature. Saturday Night Live, best of 2009-2010. And that's from Sean Atonin. 28 Weeks Later, uh, also from Sean. Gunman, I've heard a lot about this movie, never seen it. John Carpenter's They Live with uh, Roddy Piper. This was a really, really cool movie. I thought it was like really fun. 12 Rounds 2 with Randy Orton. I believe this came from Sean as well. 12 Years a Slave, I bought it because I wanted to give it a look. Mrs. Doubtfire, one of my favorite movies, came from Sean. Sleepy Hollow, great Tim Burton movie. Eastern Promises with Viggo Mortensen and Marie, uh, Naomi Watts. This was uh, from the director of History of Violence, David Cronenberg. Again, that's from Sean Atonin. And lastly, Stephen King's Riding the Bullet. I heard a lot about this one. I remember it being a TV movie. And I did want to check it out, so that came from the pawn shop. That is actually it for the DVDs. Yeah. 6.5. Okay. We're going to actually stop here for now because he's got to go to work pretty soon. I'm going to head for home, but 
Uh, hopefully, we'll get to team up again soon to do the Blu-rays. Yeah. But once again, this is Little Rocker 2005, also known as Andre, joined once again by the ever, ever faithful Buffy Cena man, known as Chris. We're telling you to enjoy life, enjoy some Skittles, enjoy some Starburst, and what do you always say? Eat the chicken. We will catch you later.